Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm about to be doing a medium fade. That's what, that's what he asked for, a medium fade. But with this type of fade right here, you can play with it a little bit. So you ain't really got to do a medium fade. You could just... It's really a high fade, really, because you see how high it is. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut the bottom part off just a little bit. You can really make this a, a low ball fade and just play with it. But, you know, most people, they just want to cut... Um, they just want it looking good and cut down some or whatever. So they don't really be tripping about if you give them an actual fade or, or, or whatnot. Unless they real particular. And you know, you got some people that's real particular and be like, I want it this way or that way. Anyway, he asked for a medium fade. So, yeah, we're going to keep it dark a little bit. I'm cutting it down, as you can see. I'm flicking up. I should have got a better angle with that, but... uh. My next video, I'm going to have a way better angle. I got a camera stand now, so I'm gonna, my videos are going to be way better than what they usually be. So, yeah. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. I'm flicking up with my masters right now. Because we're going to make that fade a bald fade, actually. Like a, a bald, low fade. And we're going to keep it medium by being dark. So, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, now y'all can see the back view. Is, it's a little bit better, but I'm trying to get this angle right. So y'all got to work with me. Like I said, this is a new stand. New everything. About to put a new light to my stand. And I'm just going to have it at a certain angle. That way y'all can see me work. And right there, y'all, a lot of people going to say, going to sneak this on me and talk about uh, it's kind of high or whatever. I know y'all will come from me. Y'all always come from me on these videos. But I ain't tripping. But watch how it fade though, cause the back. See what y'all don't know is the back part is so high. He got it, so he got so much cut at the back, to where I could leave it like this. Not leave it like this, but I can cut it to at at this angle and fade it out at this angle right here, at this level right here, and make it look real good and make it pop out. Which is y'all can see what I'm doing right now, cutting that extra hair down, keeping it still dark on my one guard. So then I gotta flick that out. I'm, Boom, gets the grain, yep, just like that. Boom, 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 and I flick that out, and bam, it's going to fit right in there. I got this. I know what I'm doing. I do this. I've been doing this for years, so, yeah, that's how easy it is. I don't care if, if it's real high and he want to fade. You can still fade it. I don't care if I, if I got to work with just a little bit of hair. I can still fade that up in there. And make it look real good. It's, it's, it's about how you fade it. As long as you, it's, it's real blended, it doesn't matter. I think I was trying to put my um, blade on right here. I was having a hard time, so. Bam, I'm back at it. I'm back cutting it down. Fading it in there. As you can see, see sometimes you gotta work with it and keep fading it just a little bit more, a little bit more. And then after you're done with the haircut, you just go over it again. If you think you're done with it, you go back over it. Cause we don't want it to be perfect, cause no such thing is perfect. But we do want it to be very good. And now I'm doing the same thing on this side right here. The camera has been speeded up a little bit, so we can get through this faster. Cut that all down. I still keep it bald. And I had, if you notice, I had the sideburns on there. He told me last minute he wanted sideburns cut off. So, you know, I just took my liners in and I uh, took the sideburns off. But, yeah, for the most part. Now, here's how we're going to do that lining that y'all seen on the thumbnail. Start in the middle of it. Start in the middle. Don't go too back. Don't go back too far. But you do want to go straight across it. And you want to have that ashy look. You see how it's ashy like that? That's that ashy look that you want to have. See, them, them, them little long sideburns I was telling you about, but I ended up cutting all that off because he said, he told me last minute he didn't want them. So, yeah, but anyway, it's all good. Just a few little adjustments, but you see how crispy that is? That, that is crispy right there with no enhancements. I didn't put the enhancements in right there. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see how crispy that haircut is. 
And you and look at the liners I'm using. I'm using these old liners with the cord on. Barbers don't even like using liners with the cord on no more. A lot of them don't. I still use them because these these my babies right here. Look how crispy they get that hair. Look at that. Look how defined that is. And look how crispy this camera is though. Oh yeah. Now I'm going across again. I'm not taking it back. I'm just going straight across it. And I'm still getting it crispy. Look how crispy that is. It's like chicken. Then boom, you bring that around. Make that side burn. Make, put the seeds in and make the side burn. See, now this is the video. I look like I cut up, cut the side burns off. I'm just going over with my baby. List just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. But I do want to look crispy as possible. So we going to get the crispy. Then I'm showing it to y'all and watch. And look how it comes out. Oh, my God. Look how that lining is. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Look how crispy that is. That's very crispy. Ooh, that's crispy. Let me know if your barber could do that. Put it in the comments. Peace.